Do you ever wonder, why do some companies not just move all their tech to the cloud? Let's talk a little bit about that in this video. Before we do get into this, my name's Emilio. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're thinking about getting into tech, do it. How cool is it that the world runs on tech? Your tech goes down, nobody can work. Imagine if a business, their systems turn off, their main servers are down, they can't work. Like it's so important, it's a bit, a bit scary as well for a tech person to know that all this responsibility lies with them, but it's exciting. And tech is changing all the time, so you gotta stay on top of things all the time. Uh, we're a tech YouTube channel, would love it if you click on that subscription button, click on the bell, so you don't miss out on anything as well. So first, check this out. You need to be able to know your network, map your network, understand all the bits and pieces. And sometimes it's really hard just to sort of get a good high level overview of what is what. This is why I love a product called Fathom. You know, sometimes when you need to install monitoring apps and scanning apps on computers, you need to go and install an agent on every single device. And that can be really, really frustrating. Fathom is completely agentless application discovery and dependency mapping. It is great. Essentially it just scans your entire network and builds a nice map of your entire network so you know exactly what is what. A full discovery of your hybrid IT infrastructure, mapping all of your servers, your hypervisors, your hyperscalers, understanding your network. Fatim will give you a view of your clustered servers by business applications so that I can see exactly what is installed and where and how they all connect together. You'll be able to see what is what so you can manage that change even better. Understand where the root cause of some problems may be, assist with migrations, assist with your disaster recovery and your business continuity plans, compliance, cybersecurity, and more. Now being a big AI advocate, I love what's happening in AI. Future versions will also come equipped with AI and I'm really, really looking forward to that. Now here's the best thing is that it's really, really fairly priced and they even offer a free forever plan down below of this video description. I've got a link to it, so go and pick it up right now. You wanna become a better sysadmin? Give Fathom a shot. Let's define a little bit about the differences between on-prem and cloud. Now, on-prem, or on-premises refers to technology that is on-premise. Premise means your business, right? Your office, wherever you may work, wherever I work, this is the stuff that's sitting inside of my comms rooms. I've got network cabinets, server cabinets, maybe in a data center, the servers that I can physically see, physically touch, the switches that I can physically see and plug stuff into, the routers that are right there. That's all the stuff that is on premise, right? Great, and for a long time, like this is when I started off in my career, most of the tech was on premise because um, there was no real cloud. So years ago, the cloud started becoming a big thing, right? And the big players that, we're, that are in the cloud right now, at least the three big ones, and there's gonna be a lot more, and there are a lot more than just this, but these are the three big ones. Of course, you've got your Microsoft, you've got Google Cloud, and you've got AWS, which is Amazon's web services. So they're the three big ones. Rather than having a server that I have on premise in a physical location and I'm building some stuff on that, I stick it up on the cloud. Now, a lot of companies are gonna have combinations of the two, and we'll go, we'll go through each of these in a little bit. But there are pros and cons to each, okay? So what are the good things about having data on premise? Well, the first good thing is that it's there. Something goes wrong, it's right there, I've got full control. I can see exactly what is going on on my on-premise infrastructure. The bad things, I'm responsible as an IT person to now physically look after that stuff. If it's on the cloud, I don't have to physically look after anything that is hardware-based because the hardware is no longer right there. If I'm building a server, so let's say for example, I've got an on-premise environment. I'm going and deploying a whole bunch of Dell servers, Dell tech, right? I've got to go and get the rack. This is on premise. I've got to go find the rack, right? There's your server cabinet, okay? I've got my patch panels where all the network cables from all of the points all around my walls are running into that. The printers, the wireless access points have got physical cabling running through a patch panel. All of that stuff is then connected to a whole bunch of switches. Got my servers, I've got, you know, my, um. My, my routers, I've got my proxies, I've got my load balancers, I've got my UPS devices, I've got my storage, my SAN and my NAS, devices that are full of disks, 
discs absolutely everywhere, creating LUNs and RAID groups and all of that sort of stuff, but it's all on premise. So everything has to connect to each other and it's all right there, okay? So I've built my server B as a, uh, as a VM, virtual machine, within my VMware environment that is sitting on a physical Dell server. And I've given this VM a whole bunch of RAM. I've given this VM a whole bunch of CPU space and great, going well. I mean, my boss says to me, hey, employee, I need to boost up the performance because Joe down in marketing is saying that uh, the website is running really, really slowly. So we need to uh, put more CPU, more RAM on that thing. And then you've got the other Joe down in the sales team who's running their, their on-premise CRM platform. They're running out of disk space. They just, they're just they doing sales. They're just selling stuff and making the business do sales and they're running out of space. So we need to have more, you know, on the sales server, on the CRM server, we need to add more storage onto that. So me as the IT admin, I'm going, okay, I log into my boxes, into my SAN, I log into my ESXi host and I'll go, all right, add more resources. Oh no, I've run out of space. Oh no, I've got no CPU. It's all full because I don't have enough physical resources available to assign more stuff. So then what do I have to do? I have to call up my vendor and say, hey, vendor, I need more grunt. Give me another server, a physical server. Go and buy one. 20K, done. Go and buy some more storage for my SAN. Gonna cost me maybe five, 600 bucks for a couple more disks. Not a problem. Gonna take time. I have to wait. Two months down the track, Joe says, actually, you know what? It's running okay. You can actually probably reduce. I don't need as much CPU anymore. I don't need as much RAM, just pull it down. And then I'm gonna be like, but I've just spent all this money provisioning all this additional storage, additional CPU, and now it's no longer needed. It's wasted. I'm stuck with it because I've already bought it. It's right there. I don't have the ability to scale up, scale down. Think about it from a worst case scenario perspective. Let's say there's some flooding, server's blown up, bang, overnight, it's gone. I'm in a bit of trouble. What do I do? I don't know. What do I do? It's gone. Here's where the cloud comes in very, very handy. It's in the cloud now. Here's the resources. Joe down from marketing says, I need some more stuff. I go, all right, Joe, here you go. Here's some more stuff. I log into my AWS portal, add an additional CPU, add a few more cores, add another, you know, eight gig of RAM to that. Done, easy. And then Joe down from sales says, you know what? I don't need that much space on my CRM server anymore. You can remove 120 gig from that drive. Great, I just log in, remove hard drive space, and it's gone. So cool, I can do it that quickly. I can scale up and scale down, and you're good to go, right? The only thing, of course, is with a lot of these cloud providers is you're paying for all of this. You pay for what you use, but then when you remove it, you don't pay anymore makes it so much better. So if I need to do some massive scaling up and scaling down, there's a lot more flexibility when it is on the cloud as opposed to on-premise. In the cloud, you've got all the same sort of infrastructure and actually there's a lot more options available when you're dealing with the cloud. You've got traditional on-premise switching, routers, firewalls, servers, storage, virtual cloud versions of all of those in a lot of these cloud platforms. Oh, by the way, we mentioned hybrid before. Hybrid means a company that is deciding to have both. They want a bit of on-premise and a bit of cloud. So there's definitely good things and bad things about both scenarios. If you're wanting to know, well, what is best for you? What is best for the company that you're, that you're in? Maybe you're a tech. Well, should I go on-premise or should you go cloud? It really depends on what the need is. I would say, if you're thinking about it from a staffing perspective, for the most part, you probably need less people if you've got stuff up in the cloud because there's not gonna be a need for somebody to be a like a sysadmin or a network admin responsible for racking of equipment and doing all the cabling and doing doing that stuff because that stuff is now outsourced essentially to the cloud. But you then have to replace those, maybe a traditional systems engineer or a systems admin or a network admin role with somebody who is now a cloud engineer. They now have to learn about AWS or Google Cloud, right? They're learning about the cloud technologies. What I'm telling you is the scalability, the flexibility of having stuff in the cloud so much better. Right? As long as, as long as you are managing the costs appropriately because the cloud costs can go out of control 
if you are not adequately monitoring what you're sticking in the cloud. But hey, if you were to ask me, what would I stick with? Or would I go on-premise or I would go cloud? I'd say, go the cloud. As long as you've got the right team that can support the thing, you'll be right. What do you think? Are you running on-premise? Are you running cloud? Are you running a mix of the two? Are you thinking, do you have like a strategy? Are you thinking of moving a lot more into the cloud? Let us know. Hey, that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Click on that subscription button, click on the bell. We love tech. My name is Emilio again. We'll see you on the next video.